Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we gotta make this video because so many people have been asking me how to do this. So right now we're in the cave and if we go to the candy land all of the lighting changes okay so let me go ahead and uh, fly through uh, I kind of have to go through like there's a lot of barriers and stuff so let me just go fly through kind of something like this and then after this it goes into a graveyard and once again the lighting changes and then up next I believe we had um, oh yeah the party block okay so we'll go through here boom the lighting give it a second there we go all of the lighting has changed and then lava basically guys today I'm gonna show you how to change your lighting and everything like that depending on where you are in a game so if you have multiple different zones and you want different lighting for all the zones it's simple I'm gonna teach you all how to do that today here's lava and then if we go through here we have the beach that also has like some new lighting and I'm also doing this in my new game as well that's not out just yet but here it is and the lighting looks oh so so good in fact I might as well show you guys a little bit a little sneak peek all right guys so here's like the first look at the game uh it's still you know pretty early well it's late in development so like we're close to getting done but there's also a few more things that we have to work out a little bit but check this out we're in this zone right now and if we go into the desert oh my gosh guys the lighting changes are so so good in this game so smooth and everything just looks real nice we can go into the cave as well has a bit cooler of lighting than the previous cave check this out guys so i'm gonna show you guys how to do this right now all right guys so i was just talking with my programmer aka time yep his name time there we go and uh i just wanted him to help me make sure this is all set up completely right and it is so first things first i will have this studio file in my discord it'll be under development resources so that should help you guys a lot a lot easier to follow along and everything like that i'll still show you the scripts in this video if you wanted to go ahead and do it yourself by pausing the video but hey who wants to do that now here's what we got going on guys first things first you need to have an atmosphere and a color correction and lighting they don't have to be set to anything it's just because they're what's getting replaced down here so also these parts right here you don't need them i have them in workspace simply so you can see when the region is changing so we have a red blue and a green it doesn't matter at all these parts do however matter in regions so we made a folder called regions and then a folder inside of regions that match the name of each one of these presets so if we want to change the lighting in zone one which is this this block if we want to change that lighting we would go into presets here in starter player scripts zone one and change all of this stuff and all of these properties now here's all of the scripts uh it's it's kind of a lot because yeah i don't really script so i don't know what all of it means but yeah here's everything and let me show you guys how it works so hopping in we'll see these parts and just take a look at the sky once we walk into this part easy peasy sky changes and now this is how we're looking if we walk into the next part sky changes again i did not go you know all out crazy lighting effects this is just you know proof of concept basically and then if we go into the last part boom sky changes again so to make it happen you need these parts and the reason that they're in folders in regions here is say in zone three we had a very weird shape okay say our zone was like I don't know something like like this and then and then a part over here like like that now as long as all three of these parts are in this region one or region three folder because this would be our third zone as long as all of these parts are in the region three folder you're good to go you do want to make sure that these parts are anchored and can collide off so players can walk through them and then they'll also be fully invisible like if I delete these parts and play the game again it's still gonna work because I just duplicated them so you could see them in the workspace. So check this out. I can't see them, but I think they're like somewhere over here. Um, maybe not on this side. Oh, no. This is exactly why I duplicated them so you guys could see for, uh, you know, for development purposes. But <laughs> I know they're somewhere, okay? They're probably on this side. There we go. So we just hit the zone three. Right here would be zone two. And then if we go one more little bit, it would be zone one. So check that out, guys. And the first one you walk into, well, whatever one you would be spawning into, so your spawn zone, is kind of the default lighting. 
that you set. So if you walk out of that, out of those bounds set, and there's no other bounds set, well, you're gonna have your default lighting. Last little note I kinda wanna put on this video, make sure they're overlapping a little bit. It will help you tremendously. So let's run through everything real quick one more time. You need in your lighting, you need atmosphere and color correction. In a replicated storage, you need a folder called the regions. And then inside that folder, you need folders that are the name of your zones. We just have zone one, zone two, zone three. And then in these are the bounds. So this box right here, well, this is the visual representation of it, is in this zone one folder. If you have a weird looking zone and you need to like, you know, sketch out the bounds like this and, uh, you know, do something crazy, just make sure all of these are in this folder and it'll work perfectly for you. After we get through with replicated storage, we have all of this in starter player, starter player scripts. There's a local lighting script. And then within that script is a folder called presets. These presets are all the lighting for all of your zones. And this is how you change them. Sky, atmosphere, color correction, all that good stuff. And then in this, uh, also in this local script, you have an atmosphere script right here which uh, I'm not going to go through because I would get lost. And you have a zone script with all of this stuff in it, which is right here. Once again, not going to go through it because I would definitely get lost. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing you guys use lighting changes per zone in your games because I think it looks absolutely incredible and is severely underused. I hope this helps a lot of these new developers with just making some higher quality games. And if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.